All of a sudden the game turns into a first person shooter. There it is. It's just hidden. Here's the bicycle pump. All right. <laughs> Jump scare from mom. Three, two, one. No? Okay. <clears throat> Chariot. Ah, uh, I get the joke. Martha is in the family crypt. That place is scary. I don't remember, but Nanny told me we used to go there when we were kids to see who was brave enough to go down the stairs. No one would ever go further than the first two steps. Now Martha's down there. Alone in the dark, she must be frightened. Why am I? Oh, hello. How did I go uphill? That's my question. My one weakness. Small chains. Oh. Tuscans. Throughout Italy, the people are fighting against the German invaders. Over a third of Italy has already been liberated from this loathed invader. We know that you are doing a lot to prevent the Germans from strengthening their power over you. The day of your liberation is approaching. Your freedom is certain. Your region is of the utmost importance in this war of liberation. Hinder the Germans by refusing to cooperate with them in any way. Transport is essential for the German troops and their supplies. Your region is the centre of the transport network south of the Apennines. The Triangle of La Spezia, Florence, Livorno is of great importance to the Germans and their hope to maintain a yoke over Italy. Tuscans, double your efforts. The day of liberation is fast approaching. Unite and do your utmost to speed up your liberation. All right. <clears throat> oh, it's in the shed. Near the river. Oh, the gothic one. Wait, oh, there's my bike. <clears throat> now, where do I get to the family crypt? I think it was going the right way. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, damn. Never mind, then. The crypt is here. I could have walked here. What? Not now. Let's hope the caretaker isn't around. That man gives me the creeps. Can I... I really can't pick this up. What? A 
a pump for my bike. I mustn't care about what people think. Or fear will prevent me from facing the music. Tower. It will be very difficult to recover from the mental collapse. Destiny is inevitable. The end waits for us. Oh, ominous. Why do I feel like these are the battle the developers' names? Hmm. I really can dig up my dead sister. Of course I am. Sure, why not? What's her name again? It was. Wait, do I see Dante? Hmm. Hey, it's the Oriatore. Let's see our story. Julia B. Percy. I assume she'd be buried in a crypt, right? Yep. This door is locked, but I must get in. Maybe I can find something around here to break the lock. Alright, so get the crowbar. Come back here. I then get jump scared by something that I could have avoided by just picking it up in the first place. Or bold colors, whatever. These are perfect for breaking the lock. I should hurry before the caretaker comes back. Dude, how big's my little bag? Oh my god. Oh, wait, another sword. 21st of July. Lapo is dead. They shot me in the back when I discovered his body. We, we already read that before. Everyone takes a side. I find myself siding with my family, but I'm not sure whether it is right. Instructions for the automatic telephone machine. For example, if you wish to call the number 0573, pick up the telephone from the hook and bring the receiver to your ear. You will hear a continuous tone. Firstly, place your index finger in the hole displaying the number zero. Turn the disc clockwise until it stops. Let the disc return freely to its resting position. Repeat the same steps for the numbers 573. Why do I feel like 0573 is a special number you can call? Probably because it is. <clears throat> oh, hey. New skin. Oh. Enough. I can't go on like this any longer. I can't go on pretending nothing happened. My family was slaughtered by these dirty Nazis. My daughter wasn't even buried and I had to bury that half-blood instead. 
an Italian family that got cosy with the dirty Germans. Bastards, that's what they are. What am I supposed to do with my life now? I want to end it, but not without taking a few Germans down with me. You won't see me anymore, but you will hear about me. Long live the resistance. Viva Italia. Aperta. Well, I got bolt cutters now. So, there's that. Gotta find my dead sister. Where you at? Damn it, why couldn't these be blurry? What's my last name? No, that she'll definitely be in the crypt, right? Hey, crow. Lapa. I should water the plants. No one will do it. The caretaker clearly doesn't care. The flowers. I like how the water just pops in there. Now that I have filled the watering can, I can water the plants. Nice. Lapo. If you were in front of me, what would I say to you? That I'm angry because you were sleeping with Martha? No, I'm not angry. I'm sorry that you kept everything hidden from me. It stings a little, perhaps, but faced with your loss, everything is now meaningless. I'm happy that they buried you here. We'll be neighbours. I knew that Daddy would allow it even if you were fighting with the partisans. For him, this war is a stranger as it is for me. Goodbye, Lapo. We will meet again soon. Oh, it's 1944, I just realized. It's time to look for Martha. Martha, where you at? Oh, there she is. The family crypt is locked. The key must be in the caretaker's hut, as always. Which should be... Where would it be? Hmm. Interesting. Be over here, I imagine. Oh, we missed it. There it is. Right in the middle. Oof. One. Two. Okay, now we go back home. Hi. What is the point of this? What is the point? I can see why we were scared as children. It's a rather gloomy place. I've got a candle still up.
Alright. Let's open this bad boy. Get the nightmares up. God forgive me for what I'm about to do. I also pray that you, Martha, will forgive me. Wait, where's the bird? Oh God. You do forgive me. inch in from the side straight down to the middle it was true martha was pregnant pregnant with a deformed fetus with two heads twins again they always said that it ran in the family i was all the more shocked i was doing things that i had never done before i do not know what force was moving me i became unstoppable I decided to photograph the horror as evidence to show my mother and to everyone. Who knows why? Enough now. I will torture you no longer. I will come back to fix you, and I will stay and take care of you. We will spend so much time together. I love you, Martha. Serving. Doctor, I must thank you for your help. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Even our own dear Don Atilio seems to not understand the situation. Oh no. Irena, please. Consider the idea of leaving Italy as your husband suggested. It would be better for everyone, especially for the girl. I fear that nothing will make her better. Her father doesn't want to accept it. I believe that hope is long gone. I agree. But in Germany there are better treatments in specialized clinics. The asylum is a temporary solution, just to ensure that she doesn't do anything foolish. But it's a nightmarish place. You know that all too well. You cannot possibly want this for your daughter. Of course I don't. But what can I do? She is a danger to herself, to us, to everyone. One of Eric's guns has also disappeared. She must have taken it. Who else could it have been? I am so scared, Doctor. I cannot wait any longer. Also, you know what they think of Italians in Germany, don't you? But you would be with Eric, an esteemed general. Everyone will respect you. That cursed girl. Where could she be? Let's hope she doesn't play any more foolish stunts. I'll wait for her here, in the cellar. Sooner or later, she'll go to the dark room. That's for sure. I would gladly stay and keep an eye on her. But I must rush to town to organize the last few things for her hospitalization. Thank you, Doctor. Don't worry. We'll see you later. That's why she was there. She's sleeping. I must take advantage of this. I will make her talk. She will reveal the truth out of fear. She thinks I can be silenced by calling me crazy. But unbeknownst to her, I will record everything. Everyone will know what you have done to your own daughter. Hey, what do I do? Here, let me just take a picture of her real quick. some rope. Is there any rope in here?
Oh. Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? Oh. I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. It was Martha. Dear God, what have I done? She forced me. She killed Martha. But who in the world will believe me now? They will take me to the mental asylum. Those rolls of film are my only hope. Come on, girl. Can you do it? Get up. What's she have on her? What are I rooting for? A key! So that's who had the keys to my childhood bedroom. I could have guessed. Ow. My ears. My god. Sooner or later, more bombs will land here. Then everything will come to an end. The door. Damn, the power is out. It's impossible to develop that roll of film now. The door's locked. Wait, can I just not open it? Why? At least now I finally have the keys to my old room. But why was it locked in the first place? Let's go to my room first. I guess Dad's in the war now. Finally, I can enter my room. It's like being a child all over again. I used to play with the puppets by reenacting what was happening in my life to clear my mind. I want to do it again. At the beginning of any puppet act, there was always the legend of the white lady. Otherwise, the scenes I was reenacting were worthless. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. My love is not here yet. I'll wait. Ah, oh, what a beautiful moon tonight. You're here at last! What's going on? Why are you acting weird? I know you kissed another! Never do that. I love you. Whoa. Kill? My only option. I love you too much. The thought of you with another drives me insane. That's why you have to die. <laughs> What did I do to you? In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy.
If a latch mm. breaks. So that's what happened to the white lady. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the white lady, takes the life of a young woman whenever events take her back to that sad day. Now I can begin. First of all, let's clarify what happened the night before the cursed 16th of July. They say the war will be over soon. Dad says we're losing what will we... What will happen if we do? Dad says we're losing. What will happen if we do? They will take everything from us. Will we go to Germany? I'm afraid we will. to come with me to the lake tomorrow. I want to take some photos. What if mommy finds out? Let's go at dawn. Mummy sleeps heavily anyway. You know she's been taking that medicine. Will you actually wake up at dawn? Wake me up! That we swap beds like we were when we were kids. Sure, great idea. Go to sleep. happened like this then in the morning Martha went to the lake pretending to be me to show her pregnancy she knew mother was going to follow her down now I can only guess what happened when they met at the lake
This is a long time. So you are pregnant. Your sister was right. So you are pregnant. Your sister was right. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? How dare you talk to me like that? Wait, what the fuck? Undress and get into the water? Let's live in this fantasy. Definitely didn't happen. Martha had a scar on her forehead. How did she get that? Take out her knife. Shh. Take cane. Now fight. Too simple. It can't have happened like this. Hello, Mummy. Hi, Julia. in the timeline but no it, it was mummy who killed Martha not the other way around This might be exactly what happened. No. What do you want from me? Do 
you want to hurt me, mummy? Dum, 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 dum. This could be it, but I'm not entirely convinced. No, I think it's the first time. I had fun. I'll punish you for this, whore. Try, I dare you. might be exactly what happened. There we go. I will never know exactly what happened, but I think I have an idea. And after everything, I shot my mother. No, 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 I didn't shoot. What actually happened? It is all in my mind, but I can remember. I know I can. I can rip the arm off. The little arm. Did I just remember my mom? A small leg. Yeah, no, I cut her apart. And another little arm. Another small leg. Oh look, only the head is left. Yeah, no, I tore her head off. That's for that wine scene was. Just like the sort of clean up simulator. Under the bridge, but but it was just a game. This, however, is not a game. I was just playing. It's just a bad joke. Under the bridge, the church, the town, the speak, the white lady. Can I eat the newspaper? No wait, let me, let me develop the photos real quick. Then we'll find the truth. Okay, but I can do it now. Okay, there's no one 
Put the head in the center of town. What the hell? Did I set fire to this place? What did I do? Toss it on fire. There we go. Eat. Dude, cover up your tracks. There he is. The power is back. Now I can develop the role and hopefully have my questions answered. I can't develop the photo like this. Too soon. The print should be fine like this. You can see detail clearly. I will return to you, Martha. Together we will sort out everything. Just you and I. I can't develop the photo like this. Wait. What's that? Oh, 
God, so it's true. I killed my sister. I did everything to hide the truth. What? Then I killed my mother to rid myself of the guilt. But she was nasty and everything was her fault. God, what does that make me? I don't deserve to live a second longer. Maybe I will see her again and I can try and ask for her forgiveness. But if there is nothing after death, at least I will be free from this suffering. I know it's not right, but I can't do this anymore. Hey. Hey. I fired instinctively at that soldier, hitting him right in the head. But it was not a good idea. He obviously didn't come alone. When the others came in, I closed my eyes. I heard a lot of commotion and then felt a sharp pain in the stomach. They were kicking me while another tried in vain to convince himself that the soldier on the ground was still alive. They hit me in the ribs, the back, and the stomach. I couldn't breathe and at the same time I felt the need to vomit. They were ordered to put me on a seat. They bound me up so tightly that I couldn't feel my hands or feet. On the seat next to me was my father. He was breathing, but he appeared to be unconscious. The guy in charge started asking me questions. He kept hitting me in the face and head with some kind of short cane. It was so violent I thought my skull would crack open. All I could taste in my mouth was blood and broken teeth. I ran my tongue across my teeth, thinking to myself that I'd never be able to smile again. A frivolous thought, perhaps, but a painful one nonetheless. Part of my top lip was cut open and was hanging down. I foolishly tried to put it back in place using my tongue and lower lip. I threw up. They forced me to confess that my father had been carrying out all kinds of activity within the German army. Of course, I didn't know anything about it, so I tried to explain those punches. I would have done whatever it took to stop them. Whatever it took. Just after I told them what they wanted to hear, the general said, all it took were two slaps and you sold out your father, you German whore. Then he ordered my father to be executed. It took less than a moment. He didn't even move. He pointed to one of the soldiers and then he pointed to me. My time had come. They all left except for the soldier who had the unpleasant task of finishing me off. I wanted to die, but not like that. Terror engulfed me. I could almost hear the sound of my body evacuating. I had the gun pointed to my forehead. I couldn't look at his face. I stank. I felt indecent. Then he moved the gun on purpose and shot without hitting me. He had taken pity on me. It must have been my fate not to die. He quickly cut the ropes and pushed me to the ground, saying out loud, It's done. A German whore has been dealt with. I was left motionless on the ground. He left and I fainted again. <laughs> 